In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take an object made, a part made in SolidWorks 3D, and be able to turn that into a 2D design, which we can then put into 2D design software and email to the laser cutter to be cut out. As you can see here, this is my automata frame, and I have three exemplar ones. Okay, uh, so for example, I've got two boats here that are meant to attach onto the top of my follower guides, and this waves to go across the front. So these two will ball up and down. Uh, for my second one, I have a, a cat head which is meant to go here, and then a bird which is meant to go onto this, attach onto this one here, and then they, they both sort of spin around as if the, the, the cat's head's following the bird. And on my final one, um, I have two Star Warsy spaceships that I've designed that just attach onto custom followers which will fit onto the end and then a sort of logo piece that will glue onto the front of the automata frame. I will then show you, so I'm gonna, the demonstration one I will use will be the boat, okay? So first of all, it's made up of three different parts. So there's the, the boat, there's the custom follower, which has the um, the, the slot where the, the, the boat will fit into, and then obviously this cross piece, which will then go onto the cross piece of the follower guide. So let's start off and let's get this boat uh, and turn that into what's called a DXF file. So to, to separate the file, this boat, I will right click uh, halfway down. I will see, uh, sorry, I need to open the part. So right click and then the top left of the open box, it says open part. Now, as you see, when it opens up, it's opened at a kind of, um, at a Sort of angle. I need it to be as flat as possible so for the program to be able to understand what's going on. So up to the top to the view orientation, click on there. Now depending how it would have been drawn, it may be left, it may be right, it may be the front plane as this one is, or even the top. So I'm going to select the front plane. Now I'm going to right click and halfway down I have this option to export to DXF. So I'm going to click on there. I'll give you three different options. The one I want is the save as copy and open. Okay, now I'm gonna export this as a DXF file, which then I can import into in, in one 2D design file. Now, very important here, I must go to the options. And from the options, I need to make sure I select export all splines as polylines. If I don't that, do that, I will lose any curved lines. They'll just, just vanish. Okay, so export all splines as polylines. Say okay. And then we're going to say save again there. Okay. Now, I'm halfway through the saving process. And I need to click on annotation view in the top left here. And then click on the green tick to say that's okay. All right, and then the final step will come up and say, would you like to save that part there? So I'm gonna go save. Okay, now that I have the uh, exported as a DXF, I'm now gonna switch to the 2D design softwares. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna make sure I've started a new one. So this is a new file. I'm going to go File and Import File. Select the uh, file I'm after, which is the boat. Make sure I say um, the unit should be in millimeters. Everything else should be okay to be left as is. I say okay. And there's the part gone in. Now, because we're going to cut this out, we need to make sure that the lines are red. So I'm just going to highlight the shape click on at the top where it says line and then color and then select that red okay the the red is recognized by the laser cutter as a, a cut line we're now going to move that into the top left corner because obviously we want to use as little material as possible so we're going to move all the parts okay now obviously if i had other parts i could now go file and import and just bring all those dxf files into this Okay. As you bring them in, the nice thing you can do here with solid work, uh, with 2D design, is check your scaling. If some of the parts don't fit, so for example, this is my tab section here at the bottom of my boat. Okay, I can check the length of that and obviously the height. So I'm just going to zoom right in so I can see it a little bit clearer. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to select the dim lines, which we use for measuring. 
and on the right hand side I'm going to select the attach and I'll attach it to line so I don't have to be particularly accurate I can just say right from that bit there to and then I click again left click and then I drag away and that tells me that's exactly 10 mil and obviously I can do the same going down the way as well the tab and make sure that's 3 mil okay so looking at those two bits I know that they're, they're, they're spot on if they weren't I was able to select, use the black arrow to select the whole object, including the dim lines, and then I can actually just manually adjust that by dragging it until I get whatever size I want to get. Okay, obviously, let's just undo those. Get it back to being 10 and how it was. Obviously, if I'm a little bit under with the 10, that's absolutely fine. Okay, now when I finish with those, I need to make sure I delete those, otherwise this will actually be um, cut into the, not all the way through, but it'll be embossed onto the material. Okay, and again, if this one here, if this is a slightly smaller, that's okay. All right, once I have cut all the, once I've imported all the parts onto there, uh, obviously I'll need to save this, save it as cutting sheet, and then I can email, well, I open email, it's out, Outlook, and if I type in laser cutter, and it's all one word, L-A-S-E-R-C-U-T-T-E-R, -E -E and that will be able to send that to the laser cutter where I can start the next uh, process and actually cutting out my designs.